Good morning, Lancers, and welcome to this week's special Thursday edition of Lancers in the News. I'm Dominic Razo Castaneda. And I'm Erica Aldana. To start off this week, we have a few announcements. The attendance office is bursting with lost and unclaimed items in the lost and found. If you have misplaced something in the last couple of months, please stop by the attendance office this week. Items that are not claimed will be donated or thrown out over the Easter break. All Bishop Amat students planning to attend the junior-senior prom are required to complete and submit a student-parent agreement form. These forms are now available outside of Ms. Salcedo's office or on our school website under the prom article. Any junior or senior wishing to bring a guest to the prom must submit a guest pass request form for approval. These forms are also now available outside of Ms. Salcedo's office and on our website. All female students, including guests, must have their dress pre-approved. Female students will need to provide a color photocopy of the dress. Dress code specifications can be found on the student parent agreement form. Please see any dean or Ms. Salcedo if you have any questions. Do you know what month it is? March. And what happens during March? Madness. That's right! Here's Xavier Mendoza and Steven Duros with the story. Last week, the NCAA March Madness Tournament began, with the second round ending this past Sunday. There were many upsets, including number 12 seed Yale beating the number 5 seed Baylor and the number 11 seed Wichita State beating the number 6 seed Arizona. I went around campus asking students and teachers about their predictions and the most surprising upsets. Uh, what team do you think is going to win March Madness? Uh, Indiana, taking it all the way. I originally had Mar Michigan State in my bracket, but Middle Tennessee State kind of ruined that for me. So at this point, I think North Carolina is going to win the bracket. Well, I had Michigan State until they lost the to DeVry University. Uh, in my bracket, I got Duke going all the way, but I'm an Irish fan, so I got to rep the Irish. I think Irish is going to take it. Who do I think is going to win March Madness? Uh, got to go with Duke. Love me some Coach K. What do you think is the biggest upset? It was Indiana. They beat Kentucky, so that's why I say they're going all the way. Well, uh, besides Middle Tennessee State, I think uh, Little Rock beating Purdue was a big one. It was a good game to watch. That was a lot of good games. Uh, biggest upset was Oregon over Holy Cross. I was kind of hoping Holy Cross would win that one. Middle Tennessee, easily. Beating Michigan State, that was a crazy game. I think the biggest upset so far has definitely been uh, Yale... Yale over Baylor. No one saw that coming, but uh, got to give it to the Ivy League. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm the only person on campus that's ever played in March Madness. Uh, sophomore year of college, UCSB, 13th seed, played at Old Dominion versus Virginia. My junior year, UCSB, 16th seed versus the number one seed, Stanford. So I definitely have some uh, experience in March Madness. Thanks, guys. Congratulations to freshman Olivia Paez, who won the varsity mile race at the Wildcat Relays on Saturday. Last week at the Rosemead Invitational, Olivia set the meet record in two events. Jessica Gallardo won the mile race at the California Relays. Robbie Santoyo, Adrian Diaz, Ali Palomino, and Jessica Gallardo will represent the Lancer squad at the Adidas Night of Champions at APU Saturday night. Good luck, Lancers! Congratulations to our song and cheer competition teams on their amazing finish to the season at this past weekend's USA Nationals competition. The song team placed third and the cheer team placed fifth. Thank you to all who came out to support the girls at the national competition. If you are interested in becoming a part of the pep squad program next year, be sure you attend the trial information meeting on April 12th. Thanks. Hey, fandom club members, we have a meeting on Thursday after school in 403. We will be having a fandom debate. Hope to see you there. Every one in 26 Americans have epilepsy. Well-known Bishop of Maud gymnast Olivia Garcia is one of the few who have epilepsy, but that doesn't stop her from continuing the work that she does. Here's Trayvon Sidney and Juliana Angulo with the story. I am Trayvon Sidney, and I am here reporting for the Lance.org. <laughs> and I am here with... Olivia Garcia, and I am in 10th grade. Okay, what is your profession? Gymnast. How long have you been doing gymnastics? I've been doing gymnastics since I was five years old. Okay, how long have you been competing? I've been competing since I was nine. Okay. What's your favorite thing about being a gymnast? My favorite thing is being able to compete every season because it gets so fun every year. 
Uh, what's your favorite event? My favorite event would have to be floor. And why floor? Because I love to tumble, and I get to tumble like all the time in floor. And floor, is that just doing stuff on the floor? <laughs> yeah, it's basically just like tumbling and doing your floor routine, so dancing and tumbling. <laughs> What would you say your biggest accomplishment is in gymnastics? Um, I would say my biggest accomplishment is winning second place two years ago at World Championships. Second place, that's good. <laughs> out of how many people? Oh man, I think out of like 15. What is the best advice you have been given? Um, I would say that when I have a bad practice or when I have a bad competition, my coaches always say to just keep pushing and to move forward because that's the best thing that you could honestly do just to keep moving on and just work harder for the next time. Okay, what's one thing people don't know about you? Um, that I am epileptic. And explain that. Epilepsy is basically where I'm prone to having seizures anytime. I mean, it really, there's no time. When it could happen, it just could happen anytime. <laughs> okay. How does that challenge you throughout your gymnastics? Um, I'm, I face it every day. I mean, I don't know when I could have it or where I could have a seizure. So it just depends, and I kind of get worried about it. And I get very dizzy a lot, and I just, day, I just don't feel good because of it. And there you have it, Lancers. That completes our student profile on the gymnast, Olivia. <laughs> Thanks, guys. The Suburban Optimist Club is sponsoring a recognition award dinner for seniors who are of Japanese ancestry. Please see Mr. Scott if you are interested in attending. Thank you for watching this week's edition of Lancers in the News. Have a safe Easter. See, see you, you next, next time. time.